Yeah. Hello everyone. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining the second meeting, the second monthly meeting of Voice Pal Book Club. Uh, there are Mas Heri, uh, Mbak Pipit again, uh, and Mbak Lydia. And also we got several oh. new. Kita dari sini ya. Apa? Kita lihat dari sini boleh. We got several newcomers. Uh, there are Ade, Alif, Dewi, dan Mas, uh, Mas Ardi. All right. And I would like to start our meeting by giving our newcomers what is Voice Pal Book Club uh, real quick. Okay. So bear with me. Let me share my screen. Okay. It's actually not this chapter one, this is the second chapter. So basically the Voice Pal Book Club in is, is an English spoken book club that discuss book in a, we can say daily, but not exactly. Uh, and also do the monthly meeting. Uh, the unique part of this book club is that we also use voice notes to uh, reply the daily trigger about questions uh, before the reading, during the reading, and after the reading uh, session. So that is about the voice file book club. Uh, the daily trigger is uh, it will be sent every one in three days. So basically everyone has three days to think or to reply the triggers. Let's say the first trigger is about, can you describe to us uh, about the cover of the book you are reading? Uh, as simple as that. Maybe you can uh, talk about the way the cover really uh, you know, has their uniqueness to describe the content of the book and etc. So basically, that will be have will have about six, yeah, triggers in a month. So this way, I think uh, the not too much and not too not too little. Uh, to join, everyone just need to make an uh, to 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 join. Everyone needs to make a Telegram account. And also has to uh, has to have the Goodreads account. Why? Because in Voice Pal Book Club, we have this. Uh, besides, we need to de reply the triggers using voice notes. We also have the responsibility to reply at least one partner in Voice Pal Book Club uh, for the month. For example, me, I, my my partner, we called it voice buddy, is Mbak Pipit. So every time I sent a voice notes to reply the trigger, Mbak Pipit, at least the only one, uh, not the only one, I mean, at least Mbak Pipit would reply my voice notes, giving me feedback, questions, anything. So there will be a conversation using voice notes also. So... All in all, that's our new system, our system in Voice Pal Book Club, and we've been, uh, we've done it. It's been one month, one chapter, and everyone, uh, I think, uh, you know, just sleep away, not too much, twenty percent or thirty percent, but everyone, I think, uh, get along with the uh, Voice Pal Book Club systems. Now. Let's get back to the content of our monthly meeting. And this is about any book you read on January. So basically in uh, other book club that I attend, sometimes they, not sometimes, they always read the same title. Uh, but in Voice Pal, everyone uh, could read their own choice of the book. Because the general questions, the questions in uh, triggers or in the money meeting will be general and could be answered 
whether any book you read. So this these are the five questions we're going to talk about in this meeting. And since we are uh, so when we are in a book club, more than five people is many. Yeah, <laughs> it's crowded. Yeah, uh, the, because uh, so I think uh, let's make this one questions, and everyone could reply or uh, answer the first questions, and everyone will have their turn to answer the first questions, and then we can move on to the second questions. All right. So. One, the first one is tell us about the book you want to discuss, the title, the general idea, and the best key lessons from it. So that is our first question. So you can talk longer than five minutes, okay? It's up to you. Just feel confident and relax because we're just gonna do discussion. And uh, I mean, uh, have a great time talking about the books we are with read in January 2021. Okay, for giving you an example, I will discuss my book that I read on January 2021. And that is, can you see it? It's When. when. Yes, When by Daniel H. Ping. Okay, fun fact about Daniel H. Ping is a teacher on text, uh, text master, on master class, yeah. And he also wrote some other books like Sell is a Human, Marketing. But uh, this one, uh, according to him, is like uh, he tried to find a book that discussed when to do things and he didn't, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't find any. He couldn't find any. So he started to write one. <laughs> so uh, this guy is incredible. And then uh, the book, according to the title, is self-explanatory. Is when, like, you know, when you are you want to ask about a raise from your boss, when is the exactly the best time to ask? You know, to ask about it. Guess, maybe you want to guess, you know? And, you know, in the books, the best key, key lessons for oh. me is uh, that our mood is actually well known, but this book really like emphasize that actually our mood and our cognitive abilities throughout the day is changing and it's not the same, right? And we are expert on some things, but if we didn't plan and intentionally about, you know, allocated times about when to do things, it could impact uh, the way we are thinking or the way we are doing our job, the way our feelings is, I mean, you know, we sometimes take, take uh, time for granted. We didn't really pay attention when to say something, when to do something, when to ask something, when to study something, right? But in this book, it gives us the insights. And for me, the key lesson for me is the first one, I need to take a break. And there are several breaks, okay? The one that I need to take is the real, break that I didn't think of any uh, work to think. No, like if you are taking a break, so don't think about any job, or anything you want to do next, just enjoy your break. And then also because, uh, because if I don't take a break, it could break me, right? So it's very simple for me. It's like sometimes I didn't really pay attention when I do uh, take a, taking a break. And also for me, the best key, list, key, uh, key, key list lessons from this book is that uh, whether we are an owl person, the one who are vigilant, 
very much in the evening or the lark person who are very uh, active in the morning or somewhere between them we have this the same pattern that the author called the peak the peak the trough and the recovery so we need to pay attention to this pattern all right everyone has their own time when they have the trough or the dip you know when their mood and cognitive ability is just going down so we could make a better decision on when to do things uh, the best key lessons on that is for me i'm a, an owl person maybe some of you are in this group and you know um if i want to do some analytical thinking like typing a conceptual uh, how to say yeah mengkonsep surat in english like really pay attention to words you know really pay attention to numbers i need to do it in my peak moment and then when i uh, and then about the trough i need to take a break you know because whatever i'm doing it will be a mess it hurts my body and my mental and my mood and the best <laughs> you know this is something that i got from this book uh, daniel uh, suggests us to try nappuccino nappuccino is like drinking a coffee and then take a nap for about 10 to 20 minutes why because the coffee will take some time to get into your bloodstream for about 10 to 20 minutes and then by the time it kicks your body you know you just uh, 20 minutes later you know it's the best you will you will get recover you will have the same energy to do things again why 20 minutes because in this book also talk about if we spend more taking a nap actually it will be having a worse effect so it's better not to take any nap than you know taking any nap more than 20 minutes all right so i guess uh, there are more lots of the things i could share to you but i guess uh, i need to that's my example and how about you guys did anyone wants to um, uh, answer the first questions after me hello <coughs> hello 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 Hello, Ratu. I think uh, I wanna for answer the first. All for right. The first time. Okay, because I think the book that I have read in January is uh, ada irisan with your what you are saying about an owl and morning lark. All right. Okay. Uh, I think. But first, uh, let me uh, say to everyone, if you cannot hear my voice continuously, it's because I am having a connection with just mobile hotspot. So if uh, I'm having a bad connection, please tell me. Maybe I can just turn off the, the video so the connection will be better. All right. Okay, uh, the book. Uh, I I guess I see that Mas Ade want to to write the title of the book, right? Okay, I will tell you. Uh, but first, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Ardi Saputra. You can call me Ardi. Actually, uh, the one that asking me to join and inviting me to join is my wife. Dewi Ayu, uh, a good friend of Ratu, but actually she is really exhausted right now and uh, in the middle of taking a rest. Oh, educated by Sarah Westhofer, I guess. Educated is also the book that my wife read in January, but my title is Why We Sleep. Why we by sleep? Yeah. Matt, yes. Why we sleep by Matthew Walker. Yeah, Matthew Walker. 
I think uh, if you guys want to have a sneak peek about the the book, you can Google Matthew Walker on YouTube. He have a TED that in TED channel he having a public speaking and it's actually covering about the critical point in his book. And actually, I didn't have the book with me right now because it's left in my my home in Morabungo. So the book is actually Ratu. Can you share the screen of the one, two, three that I need to talk about? Oh yes, the general idea about the book is that uh, the book is really talking about how sleep in our lifetime as a human being, maybe from the first human and until now in 2020 is evolving. Why we need sleep and uh, in uh, recommended for eight hours a night because it's actually a supporting a supporting activity for our daily life and we need an eight hour for the recommended sleep. Uh, the book actually talking also about the night owl, the person that sleep late at night, maybe past midnight at around one, one, one o'clock or two o'clock and also the morning lark the one that sleep maybe right in the mid in 9 p.m. and also wake up early in the morning. And uh, excuse me for a minute. The book is telling about how we in the industrialized nation is having a catastrophic impact on our health, our life expectancy, our safety, our productivity, and the education because of the lack of sleep in our nation. And also the silent sleep loss epidemic is the greatest public health challenge we face in the 21st century in developed nation. If we wish to avoid the suffocating news of sleep neglect, the premature death it inflicts, and the sickening health it invites, a radical shift in our personal, cultural, professional, and appreciation of sleep. And also uh, in the late, in the last part of the book, we actually have an appendix about 12 tips for healthy sleep. I guess I can share you guys in the group and please Ratu help uh, invite me to the group, okay? And then number two, is there anything you don't like about the book? Maybe because the writer is quite a scientific person and maybe he write lots of scientific paper, but actually the book is changed to read because it contains lots of scientific data. Sorry for number three. So Ardi, thank you very much. I, I need to stop you there because as I said before, okay. we need to discuss one question at a time. And okay, thank okay. you very much for giving us the okay, insight okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. listens about the book you've read. I read it also, Why We Sleep, and it's, I can tell you, it's an amazing book. It totally changes my, you know, my perspective on sleeping. As someone who is sometimes overworked, so stubborn, you know, it always reminded me, just go to sleep, because maybe if you don't really take any sleep, you'll get cancer 20 days, 20 years later. I don't know, maybe, right? Because that's the, the what's the book told to us. So, uh, Who's gonna be the next uh, person to answer our sec uh, first question? 
about the title of the book, the general idea, and also the best key, key lessons from your book. Okay, Harry, you are raising your hand. Yeah, you might unmute yourself. And I will reshare my, my screen so you can see it. All right, can you see it, bro? Hello, I, I don't think I've heard you. All right. Okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, so the question is about the, oh, so I currently reading, I already finished reading Educated by Sarah Westover. Um, the general idea is about um, how Tara achieving her goal. Um, um, I'm so nervous. Uh, the general idea is about uh, Tara is living in a remote island. Um, she lived in her family. Um, her family is very, very strict. Um, I could say um, uh, it, sorry, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, okay, the, um, the general idea minute. So uh, Tara is uh, living in a remote island uh, in Idaho in States. Um, she is raised by um, a strict family or um, a, a close-minded family that won't allow to send, won't allow her, won't allow sending her to school. So since uh, until she is about 16, she haven't sent to the school by her family. So um, her grandma influenced her to to go to the school, but uh, pro pro her, father, her father prohibit Tara. Uh, and <laughs> I'm so nervous. Keep going, bro. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> um, okay. Um, um, <laughs> I can't. What's the nervous I think. Uh... A quick tip if you're having trouble to speak, you can just silent for a minute and take a deep breath. Okay. Also regulate your heartbeat first and then it's okay, we will wait. We won't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Thank you, RP. That is a very calming suggestion. <laughs> Masari, you can take a, you know, take a glass of water first, maybe. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. I guess okay, that uh, even though this is your the second, uh, you know, joining our monthly meeting, yeah, it is sometimes not easy yeah, to talk in English. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right now we are talking in English uh, in front of these people. Some, some of yeah. them, uh, <laughs> all of them, I think, I think you don't know them in person, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that's on, why. We'll upload it this you to the YouTube. <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my god! No uh, way! Okay. 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 Hmm. Okay. The general idea is about um how Tara achieved her goal um to be educated to be in the college um uh it's not easy because her family strict them her family strict her and. She has many, many limitations, but she's not just, she's not going to stop. She always grinding every time and um, milestone by milestone and until she achieve her goal. The best key lesson is um, um, the important, um, the best key lesson is um, when you have a goal, uh, uh, an exact goal, um, for this case, Tara wants to be educated like her brother uh, Tyler, and as we know, as we as in the book mentioned that Tyler is already educated first before Tara. So um, Tara is not stopping, um, even if she faces many many limitations, and 
um, unsupportive a family or environment, she still, she still keep going until reaching her goal. And what surprised me is when I um, search on YouTube, uh, I write to Rabi Stover and she was invited by Bill Gates, I guess. I think it's an achievement too. And that's the best key lesson. Thank you so much, Mishatu. Thank you very much. I also read Educated and then I can tell that even though the family is not, uh, you know, sent to school. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, yeah, most of them are high, high, uh, how to say, uh, really educated. <laughs> <laughs> they have this higher education later yeah, on, right? Um, three of them. Yeah. Only three. Only three, three of them. Yeah. Three of them. Seven. Of Tyler, Tara, and seven. Richard, and the rest is working with her oh. father. Yeah, this is why I really love discussion because even though I read the book, I mostly forgot most of the time, most of the things. <laughs> yeah, because you already read it okay. before, long ago, right? And I just read yeah. it this yeah. month, and so I, I just remember. All right, thank you very much. So we read it in the same the month. Yeah. Pardon, Kak Bibit. Yeah. No, Ratu and I read it in the same month. It was ah. August last year. I see. Uh, I, I also forgot yeah. when I read the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's in August. Thank August, you very much. August. And yes, can I add something? Um, in, I, okay. I forgot it's uh, the third trigger or the fourth trigger. You mixed up between Sean and Tyler. You said the oh the, yeah the okay okay that's it oh yeah I it, that that's that's the problem no. <laughs> okay no, thank you very I'm... much okay. okay thank you very much and I guess we uh, we need to the uh, move on to the next person anyone who wants to share just uh, talk unmute yourself you can I don't think I okay no. Masudi. Please. Uh, hi everyone. Thank you for. Uh, hi. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Hi. You are all yes. Good. Okay. Hi everyone. Thank you for uh, this chance to uh, joining uh, Zoom meeting. Actually, this is my first time because on the previous meeting i can uh, participate uh, okay now about the book that i read yeah uh, the title of the book is love for imperfect thing how to accept yourself in the world striving for perfection by Hemin sunim the author is a buddhist monk from korea uh, after read this book, uh, I read it very fast, maybe in only three days. Actually, I forgot almost all the content. Only uh, some point that I remember. Uh, I read. I read this book to time because I enjoy uh, the feeling when I read this book uh, some kind of I think I feel like I meditate uh, uh, I feeling so happy uh, the key point that I feel really relate to my situation is the first chapter the first chapter is about uh, about how to be good to myself before doing good for other uh, that was really amazing story that I feel uh, it's kind of uh, what to say I feel uh, myself in 
uh, in the outer story where he stays the story about himself by while he is still a child uh, he th he think he while doing the good for the for his parent their parent will think of him as a good boy uh, that what I feel of myself and after reading this first chapter I feel I should be good to myself too before being good to other okay uh, that's the best key lesson that I get from this book thank you very much so it's so really it's I can tell that it's so related to your childhood memory when you are doing uh, something good to others but they didn't just appreciate it or take it for granted right and that's a good good, good reminder for all of us i hit i think is that is that correct Mashidi? yes that's what i feel okay thank you very much thank you uh okay let's move on to others Anyone who wants to raise their hand? Okay, Liv, come on, just unmute yourself. Uh, and okay. then is the my question. voice clear? Yes, you are audible, bro. Is it clear? If it's unclear, uh, just say in chat. Okay, uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, my name is Alif, uh, I'm from Jakarta. Uh, I want to talk about my uh, recent book that I read in uh, last month in January. Uh, it's called uh, Chronicles on Our Troubled Times by Thomas Piketty, an economic, an economist from French, from France, but, and he's French. Uh, can you, it's can you basically. Can you type the title oh, okay. on the chat? I, I guess I, I didn't really hear it. Chronicles on our troubled time by Thomas Piketty. It's uh, an essay, uh, bundled essay books, which he write, which he wrote from span of 2008 until 2000 and. 15. I haven't finished the book just yet, but uh, I'm planning to in this month because the book is uh, so diverse in topics in economics. Uh, he's talking about tax, about fiscal policy, about uh, budget, about financial things in Europe, uh, monitor also about inflation, uh, the general idea is none, I think, because it's a bundle of uh, his opinion, written opinion in media, in internet, in his personal blog. So uh, it's like, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Catatan Pinggir Gunawan Muhammad uh, by Tempo, it's uh, so familiar with that, but uh, if Catatan Pinggir is so wide in range of topics, uh, Chronicles is focused on economics. And uh, after he wrote Chronicles, he wrote his uh, masterpiece, which is Capital in the 21st century. Uh, it's the most phenomenal book of uh, maybe economics, most phenomenal book of our time. Uh, I plan to read it after I finish Chronicles because everything what he says in Chronicles is uh, more uh, explained in Capital. Okay, thank you. Hope, uh, Can you just give it? us a key lesson from uh, each of the topic he discussed? Uh, I get I get it that there are several topics discussed on that, maybe from the tax. Yeah, I highlighted so 
maybe I will read it, uh, some of it to you. I, I, I'll have it some of it. Uh, he says, uh, using GDP on a country is so, is so 1980s. GDP isn't relevant to measuring economic uh, power of a country. Uh, he is proposing uh, for countries in Europe and world in general to use national wealth. I think. What's I the should, difference? Uh, oh, net, yeah, what's the difference? Net national product. National income. Uh, net national product, or more commonly called national income. He is proposing uh, that net national product should be uh, the factor that uh, measures an economic power of a country instead of the GDP, because GDP is so heavily uh, influenced by industrial revol revolution in Britain, which now is somewhat uh, not really relevant anymore because what you produce in Indonesia could be consumed in India, USA, uh, vice versa, because uh, it's, it's not really relevant, he says, yeah, not, not me saying, because he is the economist and he is proposing that net national product uh, should be uh, the measurement of uh, the, the country's economic power. Yeah, I somewhat agree with, with you because uh, let's say, can you count how many the GDP in Surabaya we don't know exactly because maybe there is a company in Surabaya, but it's national a company also and produces things for yeah. every region uh, except uh, besides Surabaya. So it's not really that, how to say, it's not really that uh, accurate, yeah? Yeah, it's like tax, right? Because, yeah. you know, you have company in Surabaya, but the production site is in Ambon, yeah. uh, Papua, right. but, uh, they, they apa they uh, produce things there but the actual income is recorded in their office in surabaya right and that is counted as surabaya's uh, tax yeah i got it i got it so that's the idea yeah. it's instances <laughs> yeah. it, it's interesting thank you for sharing us okay yes, yes. uh it's that enough alif Lip? uh that's it enough for now okay thank, thank you very much Okay, next, uh, let's move on to our next person, a next voice pal, who wants to share something. Okay, Ade, please uh, unmute yourself and answer yep. the question. Okay, uh, hello, Ratu, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ade Pradipta, I'm Balinese. Uh, my real name is Solong, so I prefer to be called Ade. Um, this is my first time joining the book club, and I'm really thankful for Ratu to invite me in. Um, the reason why I joined the book club is because I don't really, I'm a kind of person who are not really committed when I read a book. So I never rarely um, finish a book. Uh, I just keep changing books. Whenever I get bored, I just change the books that I read. So. Um, in this first meeting, I'd like to share, actually I'm reading several books. I'm not, I don't think I can finish it by next month. So I just wanna to share to you the most book, the most preferable book that I've ever read in my life. Maybe you've read it, it's called The Alchemist by Paolo Colo. Uh, I'll type it on chat. So it's a fiction uh, story. It's about a boy called Santiago. One day he uh, met with uh, with a old man. <laughs> yeah, one day he met a, a, a an old man in a in a city, if I'm not mistaken. And the old man said that he needs to go to Egypt to pyramid to find his, um, he called it personal agent, right? So 
personal legends is like a mission that is uh, that everyone have in their life. So our life, um, our time uh, here on earth has single mission that you need to accomplish. And that missions need to be fulfilled before you die, right? So that's the personal legends, something that you need to achieve beyond your, um, your visionary dreams. So this book uh, taught me a lot about uh, deciding what you really want to do with your life and how it will affect others. For example, it's not enough if you have a personal legend that only fulfilling to yourself, but also it needs to be uh, enriching and affecting others too. That's the kind of personal legends that really will make you move and make you want to realize it. Uh, and they, uh, in the books, Santiago met with so many challenges. Uh, he wants to give up so many times. Uh, but uh, you know, the, the biggest challenge that he has in the book is when he met his love, uh, his love in a oasis in a Saharan desert, right? So there's a beautiful girl in an oasis and this girl uh, liked him too and they both fall in love. So the decision would be whether I should marry and stay with her forever and forget my personal legends or should I just keep pursuing my personal legends and forget about the idea of getting married, right? And I find it uh, the problem of us all, right? So <laughs> sometimes we, uh, we have to decide whether uh, we would like to uh, do our best for our family, uh, getting married, do our best for our children, and make our professional life as a side um, goals that's, that is not really matter. But I, I don't think that should be the way that we should do. I think we all should have our own personal legends. We all should move to that directions with or without the um, family or uh, the other goals. So the main goals that you should have is personal legends and family should be your supporting team instead of, uh, oh, what, do you, what do you call it? The, the, the hindrance. So it's, it should not make uh, you stop. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles, that's the word. Yeah, that's it. I, I, it's, a, it's a very old book, but it's phenomenal. Uh, I think um, if you haven't read it, you should. Yeah. It's a really good book, The Alchemist. Well, I guess there is someone who wants to say something, Mas Verindra. Yeah, yeah. I just read this The Alchemist book last year, I guess at the first month of the pandemic things when I went to Peri Plus and I got this book and the cover seemed interesting so I just bought it and after I read it yeah I like what I said in the chat I regret that I just it just read it just now I should have read this book years ago <laughs> yeah this book is so great all right this is the benefits, the perks of having this kind of, you know, uh, not the same book discussion <laughs> because you get the recommendation and suggestion what to read next, right? And I've seen lots of uh, people talk about Alchemist. And yeah, I think it's so famous, but I haven't read it for myself. Thank you for sharing. I got the you should, you should. idea. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, next is gonna be the one who wants to answer the first question. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, okay. I guess speak about the book that I have read. Go on, go on. Uh, can you show the slides of the questions? Because I can't remember. Can so, you see it? Okay, yeah. I can see it right now. So, tell us the book about you want to discuss the title, the general idea, and the best key lessons from it. So, 
um, the, book that, the book that I read is having a title The Courage to be Disliked by Ichiro Kisimi and Fumi Takekoga. And this book is teaching us about Adlerian psychology or Adlerian philosophy. And I think it teaches me a lot about life. And this book is really interesting because the conversation in this book, uh, well, I mean, uh, in this book, the narratives is using the dialogue types. It is about the conversation with philosopher and the uh, young children or a youth. And in this book, I really learn a lot, starting from um, uh, trusting myself, and then you can have, um, what is it? Have a different opinion about yourself. And what I find interesting in this book is when I read this book, I'm a pessimist person and I still am right now because I always question uh, something when I got the information first for my filter of information. And this book is, uh, how can I say it? <laughs> I lost words. This book is teaching me about freedom. So I used to be a person who thinks a lot about what other people say. Um, people is often talking about me. They have a different op opinion about me. And it really hindered me and slow me of the progress to understand about how life works. Uh, this book is showing me that it's okay to be disliked by other people because it's your freedom. When you are disliked by one person or two person, uh, that's okay because you cannot favor everybody and you cannot make everybody love you or like you. And there will be some people that did not agree with your idea or with your concept of life. And that's okay. And also, I found that the happiness is actually pretty simple. When you can contribute to your society or in our community, then it's already bringing happiness to you. And also the most important things is the separation of tasks or we have our own tasks and we have to do it ourselves because uh, when you give your life task or your responsibility to other people, it will be slowing you down. It will be um, slow your progress in enriching your life. Well, I guess that's what I can share. Um, thank you. Okay. And that's it. Thank you very much, Mas Samu. And uh, really ha glad to have you here with us mm -hmm. and sharing about your opinion about how to become, how to be free, uh, how to be free, yeah? To get the freedom. Yeah. By just neglecting what other people say because we cannot make yes. the other satisfied, all of them, right? Yes, of course, <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> Okay, That's what I, I learned from this. I think there are several things going on in the chat box, and we can discuss it later on the fourth uh, questions. And let's move on to the next person. Okay, okay. Is there anyone still wants to uh, share something? Okay. If not, I'm gonna continue on. But Pipit. Can you say something while you are on mobile? Okay. Um, I have the same book, like Ratu, When, by Daniel H. Payne. And my takeaway is the same as Ratu. Basically, uh, we need to be more conscious about how we spend our time. Not all time is created equal. 
all humans are created equal, but not the same. So I think uh, we have to realize when is our uh, downtime. So when we know we are not in a good mood or we're not well rested or we're not in our optimum condition, try to avoid making really big decisions. Because when we actually do that, there was an example that a captain can sink a ship, ship only because he made the wrong decision during afternoon, which was his downtime. So I think I kind of underestimate that. And now I want to be conscious about, okay, this is not my you know, best possible time, so I have to be careful. At least I have to be aware of that. And the next one is probably about taking a break. But like Ratu said, we have to take a break before we are tired. If we are tired, we're too late. So we have to, what is it called? Be more proactive uh, before our body tell us. We have to do it first, I think. And my analogy would be uh, when we drink, uh, if we are thirsty, we are already dehydrated. So we have to drink before we are thirsty. So I think this is the two things that I got from the book. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess there, there was a bomb yeah, in your car ready to blow up. <laughs> yeah. uh, the air is filling in just now. Okay. Sorry. All right. Thank you very much for sharing. And, you know, about the book we've read the same and we get it pro, uh, differently, right? But there are some, you know, this, this similarity. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, not only for our personal gain, but also to avoid things that could harm us. For example, in the book, uh, don't go to the doctors in high state at about 2 or 3 p.m. or in the afternoon because they less, uh, you know, they make errors four times uh, more than other times. Maybe because that's their trough. Yeah, that's where their, uh, you know, the mood or the trough, 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 trough you know, uh, their, you know, Cognitive ability is just going down. And so avoid going to doctors in the, in the afternoon. Or you might get, get this, uh, you know, mistreatment. <laughs> okay. All but right. Ratu, if, I may, if I can be honest though, I only read the book three out of five. Okay. Because I think the book is too practical for my liking. So I, I like philosophical books that is not just in the surface so i think this book is too practical for me so i gave it three out of five all right you already answered the third questions by the way <laughs> all right thank you very much okay let's go to the next person is there anyone wants to say something Masarno? you want to say something yes uh i think about the what well, but what but you could say about a captain can sing the ship is it about the Titanic? Because I think in the last chapter of Why We Sleep, there is a, a kind of reminding about the, apa namanya, the Titanic ship also happens, I guess, in the middle of the night. Because the captain is really not in the in the peak hour and maybe, also about maybe you the... met you lusitania mas because titanic oh lusitania. yeah crash because of the hits uh big rocks right and lusitania is the the ship okay 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 is that all you want to say okay oh i, I guess uh once one once more uh and also about i think the chernobyl the chernobyl plan that go boom oh, it's yeah. actually happening about in the middle of the night in the middle of a ship shift transition between the day worker and the night worker i guess it's really it's like some the, kind of thing is yeah the trough yeah the trough moment the trough moment and also yeah. people that actually 
working in shift have uh, some kind of really a uh, uh, disadvantage. Yeah, uh, and I think people in Norwegian country also applying some kind of insurance for the worker if the shift worker got cancer they will pay for the medication because it's actually they really concerned about the worker that do the job with a uh, shifting in the hour okay i guess that's all from me wow so they really understand the effects of uh, not sleeping uh, due to and our also, heart, yeah yeah and, and also the changing in a person work cycle some in a week they sleep at, they work at the night and in the next week they work at the day it's also wreck havoc in their own circadian circadian rhythm, rhythm and also the adenosine i guess oh the you know the i don't know the compound on our body that makes us feel lethargic, lethargic right feel tired yeah feel, tired, feel tired in in the timeline of since we wake till we sleep All it's right. like a pressure to sleep component in our body mistaken, if not yes. if i'm not mistaken uh, i read the why we sleep and the most like the most uh, the best key lessons i got is that i forgot <laughs> circadian rhythm i forgot maybe maybe later i will tell you circadian <laughs> okay. rhythm no no i mean uh, maybe later i just forgot it okay Who's next? Well, I, I will I will help you. What is it? <laughs> we read that together, so I remember. What is it? Cannot hear you. Cannot hear. You. I just just go blank. I will. Oh, I will go tell blank. You. Okay. I just in the type of my tongue. That's the idiom. <laughs> Wait. Did you get enough sleep? I might not. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, that's why. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, who is the next? Dewi, uh, you haven't talked, Mas Verindra? Or do you want Mas Verindra? Mbak Mala? Okay, I, I, I'll go next. Where, where is your uh, video? Uh? Oh, okay, <laughs> let me show you. Uh, okay. Hi, guys. Hello, Mas Verindra. Oh, sorry, I haven't switched the background. Can you hear me clearly? I'm afraid that my voice is. Yes, it's clear enough for me. Oh, okay. To hear. Yep. Okay. So tell us about the book. Uh, actually, I haven't finished my book in this month. Uh, I'm currently reading the book by Graham E. Fuller. It's a word without Islam. So I found this book. Uh, by my friend, one of my friends, he read it some years ago, like two or three years ago, but the Indonesian version. And I'm just curious and just find the time to buy and read it now. Yeah, especially after I have the Kindle so I can book the English version cheaper than from the very past. Uh, and then what is this book about the general idea is uh, the uh, the writer the graham e fuller tried to imagine try to take uh, islam out of the equation he he want to he want to tell us uh is it all about Islam or there are other there are other factors that that affecting all these all these conflict in the world especially the East and West conflict for example how the American with the iron or any other is uh, Islamic Islamic state yeah something like that uh, but i've just read the chapter one 
one out of three. So in the chapter one, the Graham Evler first tell us about the history of Islam itself, the Abrahamic religion. There are three Abrahamic, if I'm not mistaken, the Islamic, the Jewish, and also Christianity. And he explained to us how how it can reach the conclusion. I mean, how it can go through the different different what is it? How can I say a different yeah, different output of the interpretation. Because it starts from the the same the same book, uh same how can I say Kitab Suci, yeah, from the Abrahamic and how it can be interpreted differently into three three uh, how can I say kepercayaan three beliefs like the Islam, Jews and also the Christianity. So I just read the, the first chapter, so I cannot tell you more. Okay, do you want to read it until cover to cover, until the end? Finish it? Yeah, yeah, sure. I will continue to finish this one. Okay. Is that all you want to say? Okay. Uh, there is a question. Yeah, if I'm, okay. yeah. What do you learn from the okay. first chapter? Sure, it's about the history itself. How how it can be separated into three beliefs, something like that. But oh, it's wow. so detailed, so I cannot uh, I cannot say it here. It's so detailed, and I haven't I'm already forget it if I'm not read it again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's okay. so much so much detail on the first oh. chapter. So much history actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, and, but but it's it, it's nice to know yeah the nice to know yeah, information sure. about the yeah. the original Actually, yeah before i read I, before i start to read this book i asked my friend that have read this book first how is this book sentiments to the it's of the religion itself because i'm afraid that it has negative sentiments on some of the beliefs or merely on the islam itself because you know the title itself is so controversial I don't know if all the people can accept this kind of title, but my friend said that it's a, uh, yes. it has, Sorry. yeah, yeah, copy it. A lot of the reviews said the books actually complementing Islam, so the title is misleading, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just, do... like my friend said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But people just do a Swiss, uh, apa namanya, how to say, yeah? In movie, UI. no, in movie, you tell the uh, the person who haven't watched it. Oh, spoiler? Spoiler. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't spoiler. It's in the review. Actually, oh. it's in the review. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't read yeah. it myself. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my friend also said that it has positive sentiment to Islam. So, so yeah, it's kind of contradicting with the title. All right. Thank you very much for sharing yeah. about the world without Islam. Uh, can I jump in? Okay. Can I jump in? Okay, sure. Is it? Oh, Alif. Okay. Uh, it's uh, I read it. Oh. I don't know. Maybe at 2015 or 16. Mm -hmm. I guess I forgot many of the chapter, but uh, it is basically not complementing Islam per se, but. Uh, reviewing the existence of Islam in the perception of uh, Western civilization, which in general uh, yeah, criticize what Islam taught to its followers. Because uh, uh, in general perception in the Western country, uh, countries, uh, and including Europe, Islam is a vicious uh, religion teaching homicidal, I don't know, many bad things depicted by many books, by evil religion. But this dude, Graham E. Filler, uh, make a critical research and concluded that if 
Islam is not here at all. Muhammad is not exist. Uh, the violence that humans are doing today still maybe exist without without the teachings of Islam, as they say. And Graham is uh, writing, wrote many books about Middle Middle East, especially because he is. I Google him now because he is stationed in Kabul for the CIA. He's in a CIA guy. Yeah, uh, he's a very well-read American author. And that's it. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for the insights. Uh, yeah, there is a subtle differences between talk about you know idolize or maybe talk about. Uh, good things about Islam or talk about what the way it is, right? And just the way it is, and it, that it's it's good yeah. enough. Yep, great okay. insight from Mas Salga. Thank you. And I I also read some review for this book that. Uh, the conclusion is that it's merely about the geospatial or geopolitical things, that cause the conflicts. So it's not merely about Islam itself. Yeah, I think just like what Mas Alif said that maybe the Graham, maybe this Graham dude is trying to counter the bad arguments, all bad arguments. By being the, you know, fair enough, you know, yeah. presenting yeah. the yeah. way it is, right? The reasonable, reasonable. reasonable yeah. facts. Okay, thank you very yeah, much. That's all for me. That's all. Thank yeah. you very much. And that's mm -hmm. a good also feedback for Mas Alif, but repeat. Uh, if there if the, is this a movie that's that's the spoiler huh? but it is not because it's book <laughs> yeah you know all right thank you very much uh anyone uh Dewi, you just want to be the spectators tonight but mala spectators only if so we could uh Okay, thank you very much uh, for letting us know. So, how about Mbak Mala? Yeah, hello. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, I need the allow to not active the camera. Okay, it's it's, it's okay. This go on. Okay, this month. Uh, uh i read uh, about the right no right those mind why good people uh, is divided by politic and religion yeah this book is about uh <laughs> the, okay Mbak Pipit, you you must read this book <laughs> and uh uh, okay, this book is uh, very psychology. Uh, it, it tells about the moral psychology. Uh, there, there are three parts on this book. The uh, 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 the part one is uh, tell about the intuition come first, strategy reasoning. Uh, second, uh, uh, sometimes people only think by the cover, and uh, 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 don't think about the res reasoning. Uh, the part, uh, the end, the part. Second part is about the there is more. To morality, then harm and fairness. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we, we uh, judge the people, uh, and not a uh, not a uh, give the fairness about something like the politic and religion. Yeah, maybe. 
uh, you can relate the condition, the politic in Indonesia on 2019. And uh, the third part is about uh, morality binds and blinds. Yeah, because the sometimes when when we uh, give the comment or mention about something, we 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 uh, always binds or blinds. Binds is uh, support at or uh, encourage. Encourage the politic, um, yeah, like that. Uh, the conclusion. So the conclusion that uh, actually the actually people are not divided by politics and religion. Actually, why? Because some people uh, are good and. Other are evil. This means must uh, with uh, the is depends on our mind about the uh, the right those mind. Yeah, I think this the the key keyword of the book. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Mbak Mala. So the yeah. if I'm not uh, misheard. Your conclusion is not actually we are not divided by religion, right? Yeah. Mm -mm. The only device, division, uh, the only thing that we uh, divide us because basically we are sometimes biased, right? No matter yes. the reason is. Okay. Yes. Well, unexpected conclusion, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And maybe for the second yeah. questions, uh, we could do it on uh, maybe just one minute or one to two minutes. Okay, maybe I want to start by myself. The second question is, uh, is there anything you don't like about the book? Well, you know, I don't really love this book because I, I actually got the several best ideas of this book from other books. So for me, it's not, it's not something new, but there are also new stories for me, like what Pipit said, there is Lusitania. Uh, you know, I think it's so sociology, but then he said that the captain uh, could do better, but if, if it's not happening in the afternoon, maybe, maybe, yeah, it's a big probability. Uh, so, but then uh, there is no any noble things that I just got from this book. But if you are looking for practical book that you want to reread, so you can apply it uh, right away, uh, there is several, uh, there is special uh, dedicated uh, conclusions with, along with the practical things you need to do, uh, you know, to, you know, about when to do things, like what to do when you are tired and what to do things like that. So uh, all in all, uh, uh, I don't really like say that I don't like the book, but the general idea is you can get it from other books. It's just like a summary uh, when to do things. Okay, uh, move on to who who was the second speaker? Mas Ardi, yeah. Mas Ardi, are you there? Is there anything you don't like about the why we sleep, or you really liked it? For me, I really like the book. <laughs> Actually, it's quite an inspiring, inspiring book. But uh, if I could just just one thing that I not dislike, but just a point to consider is that the book is packed with lots of scientific data and scientific experiments. So the way that the writer write the it's like some kind of language style that it's quite challenging for me and it's i think i compare it with behave a book by 
I guess the writer is Sapolsky. I haven't quite finished the book yet. It's really quite, Easier. quite yeah. scientific. Quite, it's more contain more scientific and also really, really hard, hard to, to digest. read. But the yes, hard to digest. It's quite the word for it. But I guess I can read it more easily with his language style. Okay, I think that's just for me. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that's a precautions here yeah? for those who yeah. haven't really used to read the scientific book, you know, per se. Uh, just be careful and take it slow, maybe. Yeah. For me, yes, that's that's what I like from. Yeah, that's what I like from why we sleep because well, so many scientific done in twenty, uh, you know, many years, you know, just to make a, a good conclusion. And that is very good about the book, I think. One of them I got from the Why We Sleep. About this to the story about the Greece people who lost their, uh, you know, the nap and the rising cancer, right? And that is very uh, explanation about the Why We Sleep, why we need to take a good sleep. Maybe be because the cancer. Wow. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Anyone? Uh, who's next? Um, I wanna reply. Who's who speak before? Who's um, the Ardi. previous speaker? Oh, uh, sorry. Ardi. I also dislike. Uh, no, I also yeah. I also dislike uh, the a book that are very a book that is very scientific. I read once. Um, Quiet by Susan Cain. I often uh, stop uh, at a time and continue again and so again because it's really science scientific i guess so, yeah just just want to just want to say it yeah not a lot of people can digest scientific book mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right you're not alone <laughs> okay okay who's next Maseri, you want to say about things you don't like from the book you've read uh, oh, okay um actually i have nothing to dislike but if there is just, just one thing that is like is like, um, the um, how Tara choosing the word. I mean, like, so many many um, weird word. I guess no, no, not it, it's not weird, Advanced but rare, 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 rare words. Yeah, rare words. Uh, so I have to often look at often look it up on my dictionary and on Google Translate and but. Um, Use it in our triggers. Um, you suggest that we have to cast it at first. Yeah, that's maybe I will use that in the in the upcoming book I choose. Uh, Thank yeah. you very much. Um, but there is okay. That's all. <laughs> okay, that's all. That's all. Uh, actually, I um, I have so many so many things that could be like instead of this like such as. The way Tara write the, the, story. Uh, the book, it's the yeah, the story is really flowing and it's easy for us. It makes it make is it makes easier for us to comprehend it. And uh, why? Because I think because Tara did um, a journaling. She wrote everything what happened in her journal. Maybe that's the power. Okay, that's all. Well, thank you very much. Maybe that's one. Anyone wants to say something about the book, things you don't like? Master Samu, yeah? Okay. Um, maybe I will talk about the, the things that I didn't like in this book is the idea is sometimes too controversial and it anti-mainstream. Uh, the thing which anti-mainstream is they are not looking at the outer experience, not looking at the costs and effects, but it looks into ourself. And that's a new idea for me because I, or, I always see my environment, the outer experience that I uh, experience by myself. And I kind of dislike the idea because I learned so much by uh, observing the 
experience uh, outside myself rather than inside. But um, five days ago, I read the Daily Stoic book, the new book, and it looks it looks into ourselves again. Well, I guess uh, the idea behind looking into ourselves is making more reasonable in philosophy because I'm new into this area of uh, things. Um, I guess that idea still contradicts what, with what I believe uh, all this time. And I think it's just a shock to me, but yeah, I guess that's the only thing that I didn't like. Um, thank you. All right, because it changes radically the perspective, the way yeah. you're thinking usually, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's sometimes things uh, we could learn or just ignore. It depends on us, right? Okay, thank you very much. And move on to who say, who's next? Mas Alif atau Mas? Mas? Uh, Beli Ade? <laughs> I couldn't say Mas to you, bro. <laughs> you uh, maybe me? Yeah. Okay, come on, Mas Ade. Okay, uh, if there's something I dislike about the alchemist, maybe it's the idea of the personal legends uh, that is depicted by uh, Paulo in the book. Uh, in this story, Santiago uh, actually did not uh, found the personal legend by himself, but uh, he is you know, being persuaded by an old man that you must go to Egypt, you must seek this treasure, he said, uh, that is not known by uh, many others. And once you find it, it's gonna be the most precious treasures ever. Uh, so uh, Santiago did not really, uh, you know, realize his own personal legends. Um, so that makes me questions actually, whether our personal legends are the thing that is given by the divine powers, by God maybe, or by something else above us uh, that we need to, to do actually, or is is it something that we can decide by ourselves? So it's not really clear the idea on the personal legend, which is very important. And the second part is the epilogue, the, the end of the book. It's kind of, in Indonesian, we call it gantung. So after Santiago found the, the treasure, we don't really know. Uh, we, I, I can't really have the, the, the real nice story of what is life. Uh, becomes right. So after he found the treasures, he uh, returned to his wife, and then lived happily ever after. But you know, the the the, the ending is kind of uh, being forced to be settled instead of. I mean, like it's it's really quick uh, compared to the, the the story, the progress, the the, the journey that Santiago has uh, to go to uh, during the the book. Okay, thank you very much. I was kind of reminded of this uh, quotes. I don't know. I got it maybe from the games I've played on. Uh, it's it's the joy of getting something. It's not when we are actually having it, but mm -hmm. the moment we, yeah, the moment we are pursue the or the moment we just got it, right? Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. You know, yeah. enjoy the process. The enjoy the pro even though such as a lottery. The the enjoy uh, the, the the most enjoyable moment is that when we got it, uh, uh, the process on it. But then if we had got the already not 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 that quite really high anymore. <laughs> but I, I I can't understand. I mean I cannot comprehend uh, how can I enjoy the process of buying the, all those tickets and lotteries, and ending not winning it, <laughs> even one single time. All right, all right. Sorry, sorry. As a question from me, I guess I, if I recall it quickly, recall it correctly, is it the ending that the treasure that he's being searching is right in his homeland? Yes, true. But that's a quite a spoiler. That's why I don't really want. Spoiler. Sorry. 
Oh, there is a spoiler on books. Okay, for fiction, yes. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just recall why it's for this. Like, it's kind of is... you know makes like what the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for everyone. It's okay, it's an old book. If it's, read it. no one has read it, it's their own fault. Yeah, me. <laughs> just sorry, expect sorry, the sorry, unexpected. I have to read that too. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I still want to read it. I don't, I don't mean it. <laughs> yeah, many people no, it's say okay, it's okay. good book. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, next to Mas Alif, Lip, are you still there? Yes. Okay, things you don't like from the book. Uh, it's heavily European, European centered, and uh, we're Indonesian, so I don't really relate to the book that much. But the insight are good. I learned so much from it. Uh, the theories, the critical thinking, the yeah, the the notion of uh, suggesting what agenda, economic agenda, a government should use to prosper its country more. I think it's uh, very. Uh, um, I I want to uh, ask you guys a question. Uh, do you finish your book if? You don't like it? Okay. No, I just leave it. <laughs> actually, it actually, I sometimes it depends. Let it. <laughs> it depends. Live, live. I sometimes it let it. <laughs> live. Actually, that's one of the questions we have as a triggers in our daily trigger discussion. Yeah. So you can uh, uh, let's uh, join us, okay, for this uh, January as February period. So you can discuss our book on voice notes to Ade also to Dewi and the rest Mas Ardin and also Dewi Dewi yeah there are two Dewi there will be two Dewi in this Jipung and Dewi yeah <laughs> okay uh, let's move on to next person Mas Ferindra. Things Hello. you don't like from the first chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't say much. <laughs> I'm going to skip this question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's it's a fact. Sorry, there is nothing Sorry. to hate about the facts. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a history. Maybe the point of view if we can criticize, but I haven't found any. I haven't found any. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. And I guess that's uh, that's the second question, and let's move on to the third one. It's also a concise uh, answer, I think. I I made this like rating for so we can have the same uh, kind of how to say uh, measure measurement. <laughs> one is nice because actually all of the books is nice. <laughs> no, one is nice. Maybe for this of, for this evening, of. one is nice. <laughs> Because every book is nice, and two is you like it. Maybe okay. And maybe the, the term one. is like calibration. Calibrating. Calibration, yeah. We calibrate Calibrating our, our standard tonight. <laughs> standard, yes. Yeah. Four is a spark joy. Things that oh, you really love this book. Maybe like uh, the way Mas Ade described alchemist. I can tell the way can describe and retell the story. She really like. He really liked the book. And then the fifth one, you gonna read it again. We read this. You like it so much until you want to reread this someday. Okay. Uh, for me, the the when by Daniel H. Ping is uh, I like it. Two, two is enough. <laughs> okay. Two uh, uh two is enough. Two is for I like it. But people, uh, can I share you the screen so you can see it? Okay, two, it, one is nice, two is I like it, three is loved it, four is spark joy, things it makes you, wow, this is so me. And then five, not only you liked it so much, you want to reread this some, somewhere, somehow, later on. Okay, when is two for me? Uh, but others? Sorry, a question from me, Ratu. Yeah. Okay. Is, can we use an increment of 0.5? In our rating, like four point five or three point five. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, Mas. Okay, Tasamu. How about you? Well, I guess it's four out of five because it somehow the story inside the book can relate with the way I live. All, all this right. Time. All right. So yeah, four out of five. It's right. so good. it's so special to find the book that really connects with the story of our life. Yeah, right? it's important. <laughs> this it's is like so many a treasure. Yeah. Oh my oh. god! All my life question is answered. Wow! Oh my! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, Mas Ade, uh, Bli Ade. <laughs> uh, I think it's five out of five. I I want to read read uh, read the book again because I just uh, gave my copy to a friend, and I just bought the digital copy. So right. I haven't read it for many years. I'll read it again. Sorry, what was it? What was the book? Sorry, Alchemist. The, the Alchemist. Oh, the Alchemist. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alchemist. I wonder why they haven't made the movie. It's, it's a bit yeah, me strange, too. Yeah? No, yeah. don't, don't, don't make it as no, a movie. No, it's been almost twenty years. Yeah. Almost twenty years. It's phenomenal books. Uh, we must find the. Into many books as well. We must find the right uh, director for the movie. Right I guess. director. I think the director of Life of Pi would be amazing. Yeah. 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 Couldn't agree more. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I agree more. Yeah. Okay. Don't make Angry the movie Angry. yet uh, until I read it. Also, the director of the Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback. I love, you I love that. Watch it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, Tasam okay. Hasan, I think the Brokeback Mountain relating to him. No. <laughs> Broke, Brokeback Mountain is. Yeah, no, no. Wait, just, what does it mean? It's really shaking what, what his What does it mean? Well. <laughs> It's just search really me. Google. Yeah, it's me. No, that's not me. That's not me. Okay. Just look at Google. I kind of lost on your conversation, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, next to Mas. It's inside Ardi. jokes. It's inside jokes. Okay. Mas Ardi, uh, how do you learn why we sleep? Oh, I guess I. I rate it four point five. Actually, it's quite a five-star book, but because of the language style, I, I, kurangi point five. What is subtract? Subtract point five. Uh, how to Thank say you. it? Actually, guys, for your information, I guess uh, everyone needs to know this. Pipit is a in Indo- in Indonesian teacher in English school, right? So you can ask him about how to say things in English, you know, 24 hours a day. Yeah, 24 hours. I think for what? <laughs> huh? Ask about how to say things in English. You know, if you don't find any, you know, the right. Say things in English. <laughs> okay, sure. I thought you said setting in English. So oh. setting what? <laughs> no, say things in English. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Mm, okay, next move on to Mbak Pipit. Uh, no, you are still eating. Uh, Mbak Master... I have answered anyway earlier, right? Oh yeah, you have About the rating, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you got it. You gave it three, yeah. You loved it. You loved it. Okay. Okay. And then move on to everyone. I guess already answer, yeah. Okay, is anyone answered already? No, no. Actually, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? I'm sorry. Mas, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Because I have an uh, internet problem. Um, I really like the book, um, even though it contains like a rare word. Uh, it could be enrichment for our vocabularies. Uh, so I will rate it as a five star. Thank wow, you. five star. For me, educated is like a sinetron, yeah? Makes me like... Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's so really, pissed off. <laughs> so it's, it's almost like fictional book, I guess. The good one I, or the bad one? <laughs> In the end, it's a good one. And it's, the ending is uh, quite like, uh, wow, for me, yeah? But I, Happy I, ending, yeah. yeah. Uh, you thought, know what? It's fine, I, like, I, I actually read the educated by Tara Westover, and on the first chapter, I just lost the words because the vocabulary is yeah, so hard like, to comprehend. I'm alone. <laughs> and 
and I read it. Uh, I don't know uh, the feature of dictionary on Google Play Books at the time, and I just uh, well, I will discard this book and I will read another things that more easy to me because I'm still a beginner reader. Yeah, things I, about well yeah, <laughs> things about you know things about making our habits go on and continue is to start easy to make it fun those two mantras i always repeat it every time i want to you know keep my habits i need to make it fun so i need to uh, so i will be motivated to do it even more so if you find it difficult at first just leave it and then find other book that you enjoy right <laughs> okay alif alif uh, how about you your book uh, what uh, the ratings One the rating five. the ratings the ratings uh nine. yeah it's maybe four because it's good but yeah not really much uh relevance to our economic in indonesia okay i guess it's, maybe situation the european center yeah you and can it's make written your... in 2000 and 2000 okay. and 8 2008 until 2015 so it doesn't uh, really relevant relevance right now yeah because it's 2020 and uh, we got so much things going on economic responses uh, yeah, crisis happening in the middle of covid external crisis greece <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe geopolitical things happening uh, every year since 2016. So uh, it isn't really relevant anymore. But uh, the initial concept is very good. You learn, you relearn what you learn at school <laughs> about economics, <laughs> about, yeah. In, in uh, a good way. I want to add uh, that the hardest book I read is not a scientific uh, research book, a heavy, heavy quote, quote book. The most difficult book I read is Don Quixote by Miguel Cervantes. Oh, Don Quixote. I like that book. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's, I think that's... the language is difficult because it was the translation. Yeah. I finished the English and the translator didn't do a good job. So I was confused too when I read that. You know, this, I don't know, I maybe finished it in one year, longest span book I read. Because it's, wow. it's so heavy to digest, you know. You just, you just read it on your uh, platform of choice and, and see for yourself the difficulties of understanding what really happening. It's a fiction book, by the way, not a non-fiction one. You, you got oh, a non-fiction one can be hard to read because the scientific term, the specific field term, but this book is a fiction. It's a, it's a novel and you read it with such, uh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell does this mean? All right. <laughs> Yeah, you should you should read it for yourself. Okay. Things we sh shouldn't read again. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone is already answered and gave their rate ratings. And next question is, uh, do you need? Yo, know, this is the part that we are discussing our book. You know, maybe you want to. Uh, get other opinions about the idea from the book you've read, or maybe you want, you want to get some questions. Maybe there, uh, maybe uh, like Mas Harry wants to ask Mas Ardi about the contents of why we sleep, uh, something like that. Anyone? Uh, I, let me start, okay? I just remember the things that I want to say. I even type it so I don't, I don't, I don't like lose 
<laughs> Lose. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Uh, okay, I just because of why we sleep book, uh, the, I I used to think that we can how to say in English mengganti tidur like wake up or one compensate, compensate. Uh, yeah you know in the weekend we could we could like I used to believe that we could like. No, we, we don't have to have enough sleep in the weekday and then just go so, you know, have so many sleep and so much sleeping in the weekend. But turns out it's so wrong because we cannot compensate our sleep in any, in any other day. Right? That's very revealing. Really, really pay attention to my sleep. Is that correct, Nasardi? Things you remember from the way we sleep? Yes, yes. Actually, the disadvantage of the lack of sleep from one night actually is is can be traced back to a week later that the person is still is still lacking what like an immune system or a, yeah. I, I guess it's the first time and the first thing the immune system and also our learning capabilities and also for our long-term memory health. yes mental health also this actually mm. it's quite a lot of benefits so i Impact. yes i i lost track of the thing that mentioned in the book yeah after read that book after reading the, the book i try like make an experience I, I, I sleep well and I feel better in the morning, <laughs> you know, but, you know, but I guess I need to reread again because I feel need, I've, I need it more motivated to sleep well. <laughs> How on earth, who on earth wants to be motivated to sleep well? <laughs> and it's me. And also actually the first thing that comes to my mind about the scientific fact, one of the scientific fact in the book about, um, morning lark and also a night old person i actually have kind of question question in my mind if actually the morning like the morning lark and night owl is have kind of genetic factor i guess right from the scientific fact in the book and also how about a night old a person with a tendency to to sleep only in the middle of the night. How about a Muslim that need to wake up at subuh prayer? It's really a big, big... or even tahajud in the middle of the night. Wake up yes, yeah. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about the same that's, thing. And I don't know. That's it's a big question for me. And yeah, maybe you can anyone can give me an insight, maybe. Okay, first of all, I would like to give you an idea about the populations population about who many of us is a old person a large person or somewhere in between uh, based on the when i can tell you about uh, 25 percent of us is an old person the one who sleeps uh, like 1 a.m 12 a.m and then wake up about eight, nine, ten, uh, and then the you know the lark person who sleeps earlier and woke up at five, and third, uh, how to say in English dua per tiga? Two third. Quarter, quarter two of us. Two, two third. third. Sorry, quarter is a perempat ya. <laughs> yeah. uh, two third of us, two third of us uh, is actually somewhere in between. Two thirds of us. So. What was called third bird? Third bird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the when the Daniel H. P. H. P. said is the third bird. Yeah. Third bird. So I am the third bird, I guess. But more tendency to being an old person. You you cannot be like that. You have to choose. <laughs> 
Don't be seraka. Okay. According to Mas Ardi questions, I guess some of us, little of us, are destined to be in hell, yeah? <laughs> Because we cannot, uh, you know, wake up earlier to do the subuh. So challenging. <laughs> Or maybe we can ask Matty Walker to to create a study about if a night owl is sleep at 1 a.m. and also been waking up, waken, woken up by the researcher at 5 a.m. to do maybe some 10 minutes or 15 minutes of doing activities and then go back to sleep. I wonder what it would the it would tell us about Whoa. the result. Well, such a nice Maybe way Ratu of can. Yeah. Can I have a comment about that? Ratu, okay. about Adi. So, I think it has been mentioned a lot of times that a lot of these books that we read in English, they don't really have enough research about people outside Europe and America. That's why we're somehow underrepresented when it comes to that topic. So the research that were used in why we sleep, in life lifespan, even in when, a lot of them actually happen with the European and American perspective. So they that's those are the people they research on. That's why sometimes there's a warning, but like a disclaimer. Probably it doesn't apply to, or it's not applicable to Asian people or maybe the Muslims, something like that. So I think it's worth considering about this. Okay. But me, uh, I agree with um, Kalipit. Uh, I once read um, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, I personally really, really like that book, but Um, there are uh, some content that it's um, it's a general nonfiction book, but uh, the point of view is from other religion. Or can I can I mention like maybe a Christianity? And I, as a Muslim, that read that book is oh my god! I need to filter this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, may I have some reply to this okay. uh, uh, topic? Well, I think for the sleep topic, uh, it's actually I experienced these things. Um, I used to be a night owl. I sleep past twelve, I guess, because all the study and work and learning in university. And uh, this past months, I tried to switch my schedule to a maximum at 10 p.m. to sleep, and one hour before that. I try to minimize the blue lights from my phone and it helps me a lot. And I try one other thing, it's intermittent fasting. So I think we we get some wrong ideas with how we eat because um, when I try eating once a day, but with enough calories for entire day, my need of sleep is actually, um, berkurang uh, decreasing decreasing Decrease. decreasing yes my needs of sleep our need of sleep is actually decreasing um, our body is not used to process our food three times but when we trace back to the history we actually not eat three times we eat rarely because we need to hunt we need to do some gathering food and then we can eat and maybe not three times, but maybe two times or once time. And the food that we eat is also affecting of uh, how we sleep. And I think eating enough and eating at the right time is also helping us to get better sleep and maybe can decrease our need of sleep because we're not processing uh, so much food in our entire day. Uh, I guess that's the insight that I can share to you because yeah. it's actually really helpful to me. Intermittent fasting has already make my mind a little bit clearer and yeah, all those benefits with sleep too. And that's yeah. it, I guess. 
Okay, but bear in mind, bear in mind, if I read the the, the content of the why we sleep, uh, to make a, such an, a conclusion, it take about twenty many years, and about if we just decrease the amount of we are eating and then we go to sleep less. I don't know. Maybe still bad for our health in the 10 or 20 years because you know it's so it's so dangerous to risk uh, of having a bad bad have a bad health when we are old just because we lack of sleep uh, even though we are lacking of sleep because we didn't really take so much in uh, food intake so bear in mind it's a risky it's a risky Ratu, yeah. can i add something on that please? okay i think the book when by daniel h ping has really good point about that so a lot of people used to idolize other people who lack of of sleep right people who are workaholic they used to idolize them think they're cool think they're great but somehow the book said that we need to uh, what is it called? Uh, not meluruskan. What is it called? Yeah. We need Brighton. to no, not not strengthen in this case. In this case, we need to revise this uh, thinking because these these people who lack of sleep are actually irresponsible and can be dangerous for other people. As simple as when they drive, you know, or when they do something can endanger other people for being lack of sleep so i think that is a really good point from the book when yeah danger to other people yeah okay but you, i can Sato, conclude yeah i can conclude from what uh what mas ardi say uh, and also mas harry say but pipit say that there are actually uh, rooms for our uh you know study research for us in Asia to make a, such a, a good book or maybe such a good thesis <laughs> because there are not many answers yet for the Asian people. <laughs> so I, I had, uh, so it's a good way of thinking like Mas Ardi said, uh, how about this, how about that, you know in terms of our culture and our you know way of living in asia that's a very good way of thinking okay anyone wants to say something or ask about anything from others people book uh, ratu can we change our book for for february uh what, what did you say we have submitted the book for February, right? Can we change oh, it again? It's actually okay to change it again, and we just can, uh, edit it, edit the self mark. We don't have to okay. repost. Edit it the self mark, as long as your okay. PB uh, aware of it. Okay. So, ah. so, so you can. I will reread Atomic Habit. It's, I kind of forgot about it, so I want to put it in uh, my February book. Uh. Uh, Mas Ratu, should, about yeah. the body voice body, should okay. we choose a should uh, the book that when we choose a book should it already should it already read by another person or another body or the body? So, okay, that's a good question, Mas Heri, and also uh, for others. So as I said before, uh, besides we are replying to the triggers about the content of the book we are reading. We also have a partner to reply and give feedback to our voice notes that called voice body. Okay. Voice body is determined every month in the earlier before we are starting the new period. So I can tell for the self mark already made in our second February in second period in February, uh, all of you just write down the same VB you had last month. Ah. But actually, you can change. You can change it. Mm. Now, for example, uh, I think I'm going to read uh, Why We Sleep. For example, mm. I want to read Why We Sleep. And last time, my VB was Pipit. 
because Pipit also read the when, the last book I read. Uh, not right now, because I want to read the why we sleep, I think it's better for me to choose Mas Ardi to be my Phoebe, right? Mm -hmm. So Mas Ardi, if want to give feedback to my voice, uh, reply on voice notes, he could have the general ideas about the book that I'm reading. That way, I can I could be motivated. Yes. I could give a yeah, comprehensive uh, perspective from others about the content of the book I'm reading. So, if you want to change the title, if you want to change the uh, Phoebe, just do it. And it's best to do it in the early before we are starting our uh, uh, new period. So I I hope that it's clear. Uh, my answer is clear. <clears throat> So I think I'm gonna change the book to The Alchemist. Uh, I'm intrigued by the review by Bli Ade. <laughs> okay, okay. I think it's interesting. So for your information, we are going to start the second uh, new period. Let's say the February period next Monday. Okay, the new trigger will be delivered next Monday. Okay, so it's better to. Uh, Make to make sure everything before we start before starting, okay. And for about Mas Ardi, Mas Alif, uh, apa Dewi, Mas Ade, Bli Ade, uh, I will invite you tonight to our group in Telegram, and you will see the some guidelines you can follow, and you can see uh, it will be easier. I think it will be easier. Uh, it will be easy for you. If you have questions, I will give you, uh, you know, steps by step, so you can catch up with us. So, but but it's easy. It's, it will be easy for you. Harry, you you are. <laughs> but Pipi, wonder how old are you? Um, actually, I'm seventeen. Oh no, no, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Twenty nine. Yeah. Oh, you are the same. Age with me, and oh, I'm really. Oh, your teenager. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. I I will took. I will. Oh my God! It's power outage Blackout? in my. Blackout. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you so much. It is a compliment. <laughs> compliment because I look older and you are younger. <laughs> the same age. Wait, wait. Uh, what? Yeah. No, 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 twenty-nine. 29. 29. Mm. 29. Whoa. That's surprising. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were like 18 or 17 or something. I'll take that. Man. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think Harry is really baby face. Baby face. Yeah. That's interesting. I think. Because I'm one year younger, but I, I think I look older than him. Oh, really? No, we have the same problem. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, it's not a problem. Mine is the problem. <laughs> I'm 21, but looks like an old man. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Okay. Is there any any question for other book people? So, what wants to ask about other book? Maybe we can ask about it later on in our voice uh, pal uh, Telegram group in ter in in the form of voice notes about the triggers and also. Uh, let's talk about who's going to be the voice lead. <laughs> voice lead. <Satu. laughs> Me again? No. You. Me it's again? Already oh. the <laughs> Actually, I was planning to appoint uh, uh, Zipora to be our voice lead, but she is having... <laughs> you forever. No, uh, she got COVID. She got infected by COVID. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, she is still recovering. Oh she is in a good, uh, stable condition uh, because she is still updating her status once in a while. Uh, let's hope for the best for her. And it's okay for me. I will be the 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 voice lead again. But uh, I will say this. But next month there will be other person. Maybe Tasamu. Maybe, you know, Mas Heri, maybe Mas Ferindra. Okay. Yeah. I will point. I don't know if I can balance the <laughs> voice lead because for the next one, I already start uh, the 
online learning, especially I join some program, so mm. I don't think I can be diligent you, to lead. Uh, you can be. It's uh, one in a three days. <laughs> I can. I can. I. I. You will be motivated to do it. Okay. <laughs> But later on. Later on. Not. Not now. Okay. Also, let's talk about the last questions. And the last question is, what do you want to read next? Uh, I want to read 12 rules. Okay, 12 rules of life. Okay, I'm reading it right now. And how about you, Tasamu? What are you going to read? Alchemist, yeah? I think I'm I'm going to read the alchemist. Okay. Mas beli ade? I'm interested to read uh, The World Without Islam. Oh right, world without Islam. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because you are interested on the histories and the facts. Yeah, and and I'm interested to see how people see Islam. Okay. All right. Uh, for your information, Ade, you are a Hindu, right? How to say? Yes. It? Yes. Yes. Oh yes. yeah. Okay. Uh. How about Mas Ardi? What are you going to read this month? Actually, I think I'm kind of the same type as Ade. Actually, okay. I read, I read, I'm reading quite some books parallelly, oh. maybe or the term. Okay. So maybe I left a hard book in my office, a hard book also in my home. And a book also in the Kindle, so every time I read, I just. But the book that is reading in my office is *Sapiens*. Okay. It's quite a popular book. Okay. I think I've been reading it for years and didn't finish it yet. Finish it yet? <laughs> yes, and also, right now in my home, I'm reading *The Intelligent Investor* by Graham. Okay. And it's quite a technical for, I think, stocks and bonds. And also in the Kindle, I'm reading Atomic Habit, okay. Range, and also okay. Theory of Moral Sentiment by Adam Smith. Wow. I, I don't know. A lot I of just, books. I just okay. jump, jump, <laughs> jump books, jump books uh, okay. in, according to my mood, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, for your information, Mas Ardi, uh, In Voice Pal Book Club, I guess you need to decide one book, one book to read to finish, uh, because we're going to. So it will be easier for your voice buddy to comment on your voice notes. All right, you say you're going to read well, about maybe the book need to be finished at the yeah. end of the month. Yeah, because uh, the idea of the, Voice the first, Pal the first Saturday of the month. The first Saturday of the month, like just this one. So the idea uh, about the Voice Pal Book Club is also comes from the Atomic Habits. We can we could so uh, we could say it, accountability group. Maybe you've encountered it in the Atomic hab uh, Habits. So having this kind of community to like remind you to, uh, you know, finish the things you started. It's a good the environment, uh, right? The environment. So we try to implement the idea. So it's better for you to just pick one book. Uh, it's okay for you to jump around uh, to other books, but for the sake of replying the triggers, voice notes, uh, stick to one book, okay? Uh, and then you'll okay, get okay. what I mean if you join the Telegram letter. Thank you very much. Uh, how about Mas Verindra? Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Mas Verindra? You're about to read the same book, right? Uh, Word without Islam, also. Uh, no, no. Okay, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still trying to finish. Okay. Still trying to finish the book. Yep. Okay, so right. I may suggest you to be the voice buddy to Mas Ad Bli Ade. How about that? Okay, can. Okay. Uh, who is your voice? The yep. uh, last voice buddy. It's Mas Agus, I guess. Mas Agus. Yep. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, it's up to you. Let's uh, let's decide it later on by the two of mm -hmm. you. Who's gonna be your voice buddy? 
And then Mas Harry, okay. what about you? What other books you want to read? I already wrote um, what's it? The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, but I want to reconsider it because I want to read non-fiction book this month, and okay. I still decided. Uh, okay. Okay, you have about three days to decide. Oh no, two days before we started our. Eh, hey, okay. tomorrow. That is the last day <laughs> to decide okay. which book you want okay. to read. Okay. Okay. I'm interested in um, why you sleep, but I will re- I will consider I will con. You are confused because there are many suggestions. Book good books tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Bobby Pit. Oh, you said it. Atomic so habits, yeah. Yes. Um. So I joined several book clubs for this month. I think I will read Atomic Habit for Boy Spell and Bookaholics, right? Ratu is in it as well. Actually, I read this already several years ago, but um, the effects kind of wearing off on me. So I think I need to relearn it. Okay. And the next one is I'm reading In My Time by Dick Shani. This one is on Ratu's Kindle. Thank you, Ratu. Okay. I really love this. This is the memoir of Dick Shani, the vice president of George W. Bush during okay. 9-11 and Iraq war. And then the last but not least is I'm reading uh, Free Economics. So I read this in university, but I'm rereading it again. So, but for... Voice spell, I will choose atomic habits. All right. So you got you you have this idea who's reading which book. So you can decide later on who is gonna be your voice buddy. So let me uh, this uh, explain again about voice buddy. Me, I I read, let's say, uh, a book about twelve rules, and I will appoint let's say, Mas who's who's already read the book. No, yeah, no one. <laughs> okay, let me g- uh, give another example. I'm reading Atomic Habits, and but Pipit already read Atomic Habits. So we will we'll be each other FB again, but it's fine because it's okay. simple. Okay, maybe we can be uh, each other FB again. Uh, yeah. Let's say Mas I Ardi. can continue with Rida as well. So it's fine. Okay, Mas Ardi, you are, what if you are uh, deciding to read Atomic Habits? Uh, maybe you could uh, point Mas Harry to be your Phoebe. Phoebe. So the idea is we are the one who is proactively ask someone to be our Phoebe by looking their Goodreads account. Maybe they have read the book that we are currently reading. So if they, if that's so, you can ask them proactively, can you be my Phoebe? Uh, okay. But not vice versa. It doesn't have to be like that. Maybe Mas Harry wants to be po- appoint uh, wants to appoint other person to be his Phoebe. It doesn't matter. So uh, that's the idea to choose your own Phoebe to look at their past history of the books they read, have read have read. Okay, thank you very much. And how about Mas Alif Lip? What kind of book you want to read next in this month? January, uh, February, the same book. Uh, I am. I will read. Uh, it's on my wish list. I think uh, two books. Uh, the first one is uh, Einstein's Dreams by Alan Lightman. It's a novel uh, explaining relativity concept by Einstein in in a fictional way. I uh, read it in Einstein's Dreams. Uh, I read it in high school, maybe, and it's very interesting. I read it in Indonesian. I want to read it in its original language. Maybe uh, it will be more interesting. And the second book, uh, which I read also, but almost totally forgot, is Madilog by... All right. So again, uh, if you are about to join our uh, Voice Power Book Club, uh, you need to decide which book you want to discuss for the sake of replying the triggers. Okay, that's all the information I could give you. And I guess that's all about it. Our discussion tonight. I'm really 
I'm really thankful. I'm really excited to listen to all of your, you know, insights about the books you've read. You've read uh, about the, you know, things you don't like, the ratings, anything. The discussion we had. It's so wonderful to have this kind of community. Uh, I hope that we can keep continue reading the book. Uh, cover to cover yeah you can jump around of course but at least you can you know safely say that i already read this book cover to cover this month or a month i guess uh, it's not hard, uh, it's not big things to ask because one book a month is uh, doable for everyone as long they are reading every day about 15 minutes you can do it okay I believe 15 minutes a day could give you one book, finish a book. Uh, 30 minutes, two, two weeks a book, two, two books. For me, it's for me. So uh, any last word from other? Ratu, next time when still there were people a lot more than this, we need to take a photo together. <laughs> Group oh photo. yeah, group photo. <laughs> Let's... Earlier it was how many? Now only eight left. <laughs> yeah, I need. I should take group photo in the first any yeah, discussion. Yeah, I mean in the early discussion. Okay, don't worry. Uh, we can do it again. Uh, so can you, uh, you know, uh, turn on your videos right now so we can have a group photos. Lip. Can you turn on your videos? Maseri? Alip, are you there, bro? I just realized the edit feature on Telegram is based on time, I guess. If it's more than weeks, you can edit the message. Oh, I will I will make you as an admin, all of you. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. are an admin, you can edit it unlimited. <laughs> Yeah, at times, because, uh, because uh, times. I just post post it. Yeah, thank because you very much for letting me know. Okay. I will. Yeah, I will. Can I will. Can you can be an admin and kick Ratu out? <laughs> no, I will make you an admin without, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that privilege. Feature. <laughs> that privilege. Yeah, <laughs> that privilege. <laughs> you cannot make do. Uh, apa? Coke, coke. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> so you restrict the. Privilege. Myanmar, Myanmar, <laughs> Myanmar, you know. Lip, lip. Okay, Ratu, I have to go now. You want to take photo? Okay. Okay, one smile, one, two, three. Do you have the books on near you? Yeah. You can, you can like give, uh, you know, show you the book near you. Well, I have, but <laughs> it's philosophy terras. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh. Okay, the book. Put the book near you. Perfect okay. order. One, two, three. Okay, again. One, two, three. Thank you very. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thank for so this much. evening. I will Thank upload you, it to everyone. YouTube. Yeah. See you on Monday. You. Oh. And for us. Have a nice sleep, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Don't forget Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Bye. Everyone. Have a good amount of sleep, everyone. <laughs> right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ardi. Ardi, say say my my hello to Dewi. Okay, ya. okay, I will. Uh, okay, good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night.